Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable, this mindfuck of a game. In the last episode, I actually got to see credits, and I felt like I did an ending of some sort for some reason. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. Um. This couldn't go any way except badly, 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 bad. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. Okay. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. What? Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Here it comes. <gasps> ah! I really think I did that one before. That sounds very familiar. I don't remember if I did that. But okay, I don't want to hit the door. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. I bet. I bet he did. Wait a minute. What is that? The end is never the end is never the end is never the end. Okay. That's new. I didn't realize that before. It's almost like I'm expecting this whole thing just to, like, crumble around me after playing so much of this game so far. It's freaking crazy. When oh Stanley my god, these two, two doors. Open doors. He entered the door on his left. Oh, fine, we'll go to the one on their left. There's a couple things I know choices-wise that we haven't done yet. Yet there was not a single person here either. Nope, not a single Feeling person a here either. Disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office Hoping he might find an eye coming to a staircase, we will. Stanley walked we will upstairs go up to, to his our boss's, boss's office. office because there's stuff that must be done. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of it? any human life. What was it? Shocked, Two, unraveled, four, Stanley five, wondered in eight. disbelief who orchestrated this. What nope. dark secret was being held from him? Four, what he could not have two, known was five, that the keypad eight. behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that what his was, boss had been keeping from was, him. Five, and so the four, boss had assigned two, it an extra eight. secret. Oh, there two, it is. Eight, two, eight, four, eight, four, eight, four, four five. Stanley couldn't of course, I'm using all the freaking other numbers but those on the ones. Keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Yeah. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. That's right. Ba -dum -ba -bum -bum. He walked into the bat cave. Unafraid of what was going to happen. Walking into Bruce Wayne's dark evil manor. Descending deeper into the Oh, I was just going down the elevator. Oh, it no, was no, a no, stirring no, no. of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To, to question, question the nature, nature of his own. job, like Why he was this now? free. It had never occurred to him. Freedom. This question would not go unanswered for long. I'm sure it won't. I heard something go. Psh, psh, psh. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." Mm. Yeah, you want that, don't you? No. Although this we shall escape. Had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I, you know, you say that, but I really don't believe it right now. 
Stanley still you are just a horrible, back on track. horrible man trying to deter me from getting to, to my eternal life. Confront his death. Because this is... Oh, look at that. It's all red and everything. That is awesome. I like... I like oh! Whoa! 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 Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Hey, okay. Okay. So amazingly, I survived. Okay. As the machine okay. Into motion, and Stanley okay. Was inched closer and closer ah. To his demise, he what? That his life had been of no closer whatsoever. and closer to his demise. No. 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 Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Ah. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stan. Farewell, Stanley. Huh? Farewell, Stanley. Uh -huh. Farewell, Stanley uh -huh. Cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly uh -huh. into the enormous metal jaws. Uh -huh. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. <laughs> okay. What? This... And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? Oh my god, ow. Oh god, I know you can't see it, but I'm sitting here staring at the screen, holding my freaking forehead with my jaw hanging wide open at this whole freaking game. Apparently, okay. Alright, what's this? What's this? Well, we might as well look at everything. Nature paintings. Okay. Okay, these are the paintings that were in the office. This... is Stanley's office. It's the layout. It's a, it's a fucking layout. Okay, all the way up to the two doors, which is the decision. Okay, this is like behind the scenes filing cabinets. Wow, those totally are filing cabinets. Computers. Office computers. That, that's cool. Employee database. What's the other one say? I didn't look at it. Sorry. Sorry. Hang on. Sorry. 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 Still can't read it. The, a desk. The office. Can't do anything with this. Button sounds. Beep, boop, boop. I like that one. I like five. Five's, five's a good sound. What is this? Maintenance room. Early version of the maintenance of the maintenance room. Okay. It's probably from the beta or alpha even. Maybe I don't know. What's what's this? The point of Stanley. Is the point is Stanley Parable HD Remix is to lose. The point of it is to win. There are screenshots of these more endings, fewer endings, more narrations, fewer narrations, more Stanley, less Stanley. Am I going crazy? Maybe this is the same. This isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can I? Ch can you check for me? What is that green light? September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Parable to the green light. Valve's progress 
of appro approving games for Steam. The Greenlight page had only a series of cryptic photos which were still enough to win the community's approval. Interesting. That looks very like Tron-like. I like that. What's this? Warzone? An early development. We designed an ending where Stanley would end up in a battlefield fighting aliens. The, <laughs> the action game would come would become sentient and would wage <laughs> would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that this is far too jokey on, and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people inter interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Interesting. This must be all the freaking... Okay, this is all from that. From that lost thing. Alright, hold on. What's in here? What's in this little room? I'm going to read this first. Narrator's emails. After the second trailer, we sent out... Oh, uh, hold on. After the second trailer, we sent out... We asked some people to email the narrator for questions. While we in, had intentionally planned to use these in further promotion materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here is a selection of those emails. Okay, so you, if you come here, you could actually sit there and read them. I'm not going to sit there and read them. I'm already actually probably taking too much time doing this. The Lounge, an early version version of The Lounge. Not nearly as cool as it is now. Office, you got the freaking pencil sharpener. Giant freaking hallway here. Uh, these must be different looks of Stanley's office, I'm assuming. They're all a little different in some in different ways. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in 2000, November 2011. The second was created in March 2012. And the third was created in February 2013. Okay, so yeah. So one, two, three. Nice. That's, that's, that's fucking cool. What's this? What is this? This is a broken ending. I, I just freaking went through this here not too long. Game design mock-up. <coughs> this is the level that William, the level designer, sent Davey, the writer, as kind of an audience piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout of the mock-up is still in the game. Yeah, it's pretty much in there. I fucking found that shit. What's this? Oh, okay, that's the freaking, okay, the countdown room. An early version of the countdown room. There's apparently the exit. I'm not going in there yet. Monitor room, elevator. The freedom ending. Which is actually one of the first endings I came to. Countdown, this one of the from early version of the countdown ending. Which is an ending I did not find. Freedom ending, more than the freedom ending. What's over there? What is that? I'll have to go over there. Uh, different looks of the boss's office. An office clock. What do we got this way? Couches. Underground. They changed the look of the escape route. They made it look more fake see how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room perfect example where were narration outtakes oh i don't know. kevin brightington the voice of the narrator recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly 3 separate times over the 2 years of development these are clips of every take that were not used in the final game oh and of course as soon as I stop saying things, he shuts up. What a nice narrator. Fucking awesome. Alright, one last thing to look over at this. And we've got our credits. There, you know, I'll kind of leave that right there for you guys to see. Kind of go over here and be like, Stanley Parable credits. Thank you, David Whedon, William. 
Thank you all you guys. Thank you guys. All you guys. All of you guys. Thank you for making this game. This game is fucking amazing. Fucking head trip. You know, complete mind rape. But amazing. Amazing fucking ending. I love it. Or ending. A amazing game. Just in general. Alright. Now we're coming <laughs> Oh look at these to the two. end, apparently. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. <sighs> How they both wish to be free. Alright. Well, <sighs> Let's put it this way. I'm pretty sure I'm done with this game. As fun as this game is, I know I haven't freaking seen everything in it. But I'm pretty much done with it. So, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Thank you for watching. I'm Pink Deadpool. This has been... The Stanley Parable. And until we see each other in the next video, peace out. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time...